thank you all so very much for showing me that you really want me to keep doing these videos. I am humbled by how many of you have watched my latest video. With me being sporadic and coming in here from time to time, sometimes I just feel like I'm letting you all down. But it's the viewership like I had on my last video, which still is not that high, but that's my fault, not y'all's fault. And it makes me go, I can do better. I need to do better for everyone. So I want to explain something. There was supposed to be a video that was out this morning, but 2020 sucks buttholes, right? It's just the worst year of my 55 years that there's ever been. I swear, between the virus, between fires, first in Australia, now in California, and earthquakes and all sorts of wonderful things that are going on, and hurricanes and riots and hatred being spewed by politicians and hatred being spewed by news programs. I am done. This year needs to go away. And then when we're home and we're not allowed to go to work and I find out I have medical issues that I need to work on, so I work very hard to make myself healthier. In fact, my company, who I've worked for for 16 years, goes out of their way for all of us to make sure that we have a competition to try to compete, not against other people, but ourselves, against closing our rings, against making things better for ourselves. And I excel at it. I get the highest level of completion in it. And I lose not just weight, but I gain confidence and I gain the... I, I gained this pride that I actually was able to do something I've never done before. So the competition, if you get to certain levels, it gets you a shirt, which is great. And every year I have a shirt. I have a shirt that says breathe. I have a shirt that has the, the rings on it that we complete this challenge through because we all have iPhone. And then my shirt comes today. And of all things, it says 2020. It commemorates the year I just want to be gone. And why am I so upset right now? It's because I wanted to have a video out for you. But in the middle of my Friday, which my Friday is actually my Tuesday. Wednesday is Saturday, or Saturday is Wednesday for me. Saturday is my hump day. But Tuesday is, it's the day that my friends come over. I should say people come over. They are my friends, but people come over for me to run a game for them. I'm a DM in Dungeons & Dragons, and I'm having this game. We're having an amazing time. We're laughing. I'm watching them do the funniest things in the world, and then one of them turns to me and says, Black Panther just died. And it was like the wind was just taken out of our sails. Chadwick Boson, who has played some of the most influ influential African-American people in our history. Jackie Robinson, right? And he's dead. And all I can think is, oh my God, oh my God. That's all we need right now. That's all we need. And I'm holding back tears, not because of any one thing, but because of how much this year has absolutely sucked buttholes. And I just want it to be over. But I don't want it to be over and just start anew. I want it to end on things that make sense. I want us to come together and fight this virus together. I want us to come together and realize that we are all one people and that we need to love one another and support one another and help our nation grow and become a better nation. And I'm going to get the politics out of it right now because I know it's just going to bring people that want to talk about hate. So what I'm going to say is, I want Star Citizen to actually have something big this year. Something bigger than what they've given us so far. Now, even with my relationship with the people there, I don't know what's coming, but I know what I want. I want some kind of a turn towards this game actually having some great news by the end of the year. Whether that's server meshing or it's a new solar system, whatever that would be. I just want there's something, I want there to be something big. Even if they say, you know what, we tricked you. Squadron 42 is ready for beta on January 1st. I'll take it. I'll take it. But today what we're here for is this.
We're here for my day to get in the game and show off my feelings about where combat is going in this game. Now, there are many people that are in the game because they like combat. There's griefers, there's mercenaries, there's bounty hunters, there's pirates, whatever they want to be, whatever they want to call themselves. Some people grief for the hell of griefing and say they're pirates, but that's not really what a pirate is. And I don't think there's really that many griefers here. But I think there's many people that like combat. Me, I like exploration. I think the biggest thing this game lacks right now is the coordinate system. Coordinates need to be in the game so we know where we're going, we know where we've been, and we know how to get our friends to where we've been so we could actually have meetings there and see these great places together. And also, so we could find people's bases if we like combat and destroy them, right? But we don't have that, so we have to deal with what we have in the game. So, so far we've had multiple changes in the flight model, we've had some tweaks in mining, we've had some great mining ships come out, We've been told salvaging isn't going to be out for a while. We get exploration ships that are explorers and have absolutely no way to explore anything. 315P or anything that has Pathfinder on it. So we'll just leave it that way. And they keep throwing ships at us. But it seems like they keep throwing ships at us for the one thing that we can do here. And it's fight each other. Beat each other up. Shoot each other out of the sky, out of space vaporize each other and that's something that actually can be fun when you're out in the verse with your friends. So I decided to take this from a different perspective. I took out my saber. I love my saber. It's one of my favorite ships but everything in the game needed to have gimbaled weapons for a while so I tended not to fly my saber because gimbals were so much better than fixed weapons. But with the fixes that they made to the game recently, we are having an amazing time using these fixed weapons because we have dumb mode on. It's not really dumb mode. It's a assisted mode that helps us get more rounds on the target when we're using fixed weapons. Personally, I think it's amazing, but I think it makes ships like the Saber quite overpowered for me, especially if I could upgrade those weapons and make them even better. But in this situation, what I feel is there might be parity for once between fixed weapons and gimbaled weapons, and I can see how this fix is going to make my turret video even better. So I am liking what they did to the targeting system, to the flight model, to the way you fight. So I talked about flight model here, and to be honest with you, the flight model isn't all that different. The flight model to me seems worse in atmosphere, and that's the way it should be unless you have wings, and it seems to be almost the same everywhere else. So here I am taking out the saber and I get stopped, and I just get upset because 2020 sucks balls, so this guy from the Hurston Security Forces needs to die, which of course I have committed murder, death, kill, and now I am wanted. Big whoop. No one's going to be able to kick my butt because I was playing when nobody else was on. So this guy goes the way of, yep, he is now history. But you know what? I kind of felt bad after I did that. I kind of felt like, what if he had family? Because Chris Roberts is telling us that this game has people in it that actually live, breathe, and die right? So they have families, they have things they do. So this guy in this Hurston Dynamic security vessel might have gone home, landed, and might have taken that ice cream to his little girl, and I just killed him, so I felt bad. But I went about my way and said, you know what, let me go do some good, and let me go hunt some bounty. So he went down really quickly, and I decided, let me go see what it's like to actually take on an easy bounty and see what it's like. Now I've got the Panthers on this, and anything like a Mustang isn't going to last for long. But in the olden days, when I had to make sure I was firing my weapons in exactly the right place, taking on a Mustang wasn't so easy. But this is what I've been asking for. I could just pull the trigger and kill it, because that's what I should be able to do in a Sabre when I'm fighting a Mustang. 
So I'm going to give one thumbs up right now and say that checks the box of me being in the better ship and actually being able to make myself feel OP as hell. <laughs> I don't want to curse too much in this one. But I, I kind of felt like I needed to go out and try something different. So I did. I went out and tried something different. Well, it wasn't right away. First, I did a couple of more, well, one more of those missions because there was no way anybody was going to give me another bounty hunting mission because the people that give those just lost one of the security forces and I was the one that killed them. So for all intents and purposes, I was going to be hunted right now, but I was playing at a time when there wasn't anyone to hunt me. So I jumped into a different type of mission after killing whatever bounties I needed to kill because I had taken those before I dispatched that security you know, you officer. So I went and picked Send up an ECN help. mission. And of course, you're protecting one vessel. And in this situation, he's being attacked by one after another after another of RSI constellations. Now, if they really wanted a chance against my amazingly awesome saber, they would have probably all come at me at once, instead of coming in one at a time like some really bad Saturday morning kung fu movie when I was growing up. Nonetheless, what I found is that the new targeting system, which is what this video has become about, has made me happy. I honestly feel like the ships that are supposed to be OP are now, which means I can enjoy flying at least another 30% of the ships that I haven't flown in quite some time because certain elements of them were so broken they weren't fun anymore. I'm going to have to learn in the future that I really need to hold on to my ships that I don't find fun because CIG at times is going to go in and fix things that I don't find fun and make them fun in the future. So my saber is actually back to being on the top of my list for once, and I'm happy. I'll even go out and try my Saber Raven, because if I could just stop these ships in their place and then destroy them without the errant turret shot coming into my awesome shields and doing limited damage to my shields, I'd be even happier. Now, this is not fighting against live human beings, because if I did that, my flying skills are horrible, and this video would have been over 10 minutes ago. But for all intents and purposes, the new targeting system gets a thumbs up for me. So that's two thumbs up in this video. So this is the video that you have because 2020 sucks balls. Because in everything that I wanted to do and bring out to you, my whole weekend got ruined by one news story, Chadwick Boson dead. And all I can think is Wakanda forever, everybody. Wakanda forever. I'm going to continue with a couple of other videos this week, like I promised. I'm going to try to get people to take out a hammerhead or maybe jump into my friend's hurricane and try to go do a couple of claim jumper missions while being inside the turrets and seeing how well they work and bring you my opinion of that. But I could say this, games are supposed to be fun. If I wanted something to be a job as a game, I'd be flying DCS World, which I do do. But, you know, taking 25 minutes to start up an F-18 may be something I like to do, but it's not my fun time in video games. Star Citizen, I want to be my fun time. Star Citizen, I want to be the one that I go to and just disappear in. I want to go look at all the beautiful things that there are to see in this universe, fly ships, feel OP as hell, and do the things that I've envisioned doing in a space sim forever. I love this game. It frustrates me. It pisses me off. But at the end of the day, whenever I get out of the game, unless I've had four 30Ks in a row, which hasn't happened for a long time, I feel wonderful. And I know the only thing now that's upsetting me about the game is the schedule. So I try not to talk about that because I believe at this point we should have had the whole Stanton system done. 
We should have a coordinate system before we leave Stanton because why the hell not? But if they're going to continue to make things better, like all the little graphical things that get better each patch, making combat more fun, I have to have a belief that all the other things I complain about are going to become fun too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about the cursing. I'm sorry about the bringing up all the negative things that happened. Please, I know I talk politics in here. Let's not make it about that. I, I shouldn't have, but 2020 really stinks. It really stinks. And I want 2021 to be an amazing year. So let's put all this stuff behind us and just look forward to the next 18 months with Star Citizen and really believe that they're going to deliver so we can make the universe make that happen for us. Believe in CIG so we can get a great game. All right, folks, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up button below. If you are a subscriber or do subscribe today, thank you so very much. Please remember to click that thumbs up button and the notification icon, because when you do both of those, my videos get seen by more people. And that notification icon, make sure you get notified of all my future videos. And there's also a Patreon. If you feel like supporting the channel, feel like making it so I could get ships that I could give away, making it so I can get things that I can do more with this channel, you can become a patron. And for as little as a dollar a month, you could help support the channel and be somebody that I am indebted to and humbled by. And that's at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl. And I am wishing everyone, no matter who you are, an amazing week. I'm going to say it again, Wakanda forever. And you all be safe out there. And I'll talk to you soon.